Are you ready to discover how to create a monetizable faceless YouTube channel using AI automation? Take a look, this creators, they got million of views on this type shorts. And guess what? They earned about $40,000 per month. And it takes probably five minutes to create this type 100 shorts. In this video, I'm not only going to show you how to create this type shorts, but also how can you get free Canva Pro and create 100 shorts in just 10 minutes. For more examples, check out these creators. As you can see that the creator of such shorts can earn about $1,000. In this video, I will guide you through each step of creating these types of shorts, potentially earning you around $1,000. And for that, we have to generate script, then edit it, and bulk create from Canva. Don't worry, I will provide you Canva Pro in free. So let's begin the tutorial. We're going to use AI tools to make script and automate the process. So we're using is, of course, ChatGPT. Our goal is to ask ChatGPT to generate 50 sets of facts that will consist of various topics or facts for the shorts, such as psychology, motivation, relationships, boy-girl topics, depression, etc., to ensure a variety of content. I will pin this prompt on comment section. Once we type in the prompts, we simply click send message and let ChatGPT generate the facts. As a result, we have column 1 for different types of facts and column 2 for the starting point. If you want to create more parts, then simply ask to ChatGPT for more columns. After a few moments, ChatGPT delivers our video script. To create more script, simply copy and paste this second prompt. Generate 20 more using the same specifications without repeating previous ones. This way, you won't have to worry about creating any repetitive videos. I will also pin this prompt on comment section. Our script is ready. Now let's move on to the next step. We'll be using Canva to customize our video. Let's visit Canva, come. If you haven't already, sign up here for a free account. After logging in, you'll see a screen that looks like this. Once you are on its homepage, click on the search bar in the center and then type YouTube Shorts. After clicking YouTube Shorts, we'll navigate to another tab. We'll just have to make a few adjustments to prepare for automated video creation. First, you'll need to add a video background. Click on Apps at the bottom left, then scroll down or use the search bar to find videos. You'll find a lot of video clips available. Simply click on the search box and type in C to find the right clip. For this type of shorts, I prefer a C background. To use a video, simply click on it and expand it to the edge of your editing window, making it the background for your project. This is what we want to achieve. Release the mouse cursor to apply it as a background video. Now let's adjust the video duration to about five to six seconds. Next, remove the background noise or music. Click on the video, find the volume icon in the top right and drag it down to mute. Let's add text before connecting it to our data for automated video creation. Go to the text section, add a header, and select your desired text style. This text is for the topic. Now let's style the text. If you prefer, or you can also change the font, feel free to choose any font that suits your preferences. Double click on the text to select it all. Click on color at the top and change it to white. You can set any color if you want. Add a background by clicking on Effects and then selecting Background. It usually defaults to black, but if not, just scroll down and choose black. This will be your topic text at the top of the video, so just go ahead and write Topic for now. Next, let's duplicate the text. Click on it and select Duplicate. Drag the duplicated text and put it below. This will serve as our Part 1 text, so go ahead and write that in there. Just double click on it to edit and write part one. Remove the background by clicking effects and choosing none. However, it's good to add an outline to make it a little more noticeable. You want to click on outline, set the color to black and increase the thickness to around 75 to 95. That's completely up to you to decide. Now extend the text right and left fully. Now we also need the part two text. Just duplicate the part one text like before by clicking on it and selecting Duplicate. Double-click on it and set Part 2 here. Now, listen carefully because this is important. You want to place the text right a little bit under the Part 1 text. 
We're going to want the text later on to show up in the same spot all the time, but this step is necessary later on for the automation process, as you'll see soon. For a six second video, it's a good idea to have part one displayed for most of the video's duration and then have part two appear for a shorter period. This encourages viewers to rewatch the video, leading the longer retention and higher watch rates, which is super important in order to make your video go viral. You can set part one to show for, say three and a half seconds, which you can also adjust as needed and do the same for part two, having it appear at three and a half seconds into the video. Look, our video theme is ready now. Now we're finally at the crazy part. Not many people know of this feature on Canva, and it's called Bulk Create. It's time to link our text with the data which we'll be using the tool for. Click on Apps at the bottom left of your screen, and you should find the tool there. But wait, if you don't have Canva Pro, you can't access the Bulk Create feature. But don't worry, I'll provide you with some simple and easy tricks to get Canva Pro for free. And for that, just sign up for your Canva account. Look, my account is free now. Now open a new tab and search for Bingo Tingo. Once you find it, simply enter the website. Here you'll see a search box. Click on it, type Kenba and press enter. Then you will see an interface like this. Click on the Kenba picture and after a moment, you'll be taken to another interface. Simply scroll down and you'll find a one minute countdown. Just wait for it to complete. Now click on the download button, which will open a new tab. Next, click on the get here button. After a moment, you will be redirected back to Canva. And surprised, you now have access to Canva Pro. Please note that occasionally you may encounter results like this. However, do not panic if this happens. It may occur because the team is full. Try using a different email address or try again the next day. Canva Pro successfully activated now it's time to create bulk content. For this, revisit ChatGPT and copy the necessary data to input your script for bulk creation. Because we let ChatGPT create the facts in a table format, we can copy and paste it directly. Now go back on Canva and click on Apps, then click on Bulk Creation. Next, let's connect the data to the specific elements in your editor here. Right-click on the topic text and choose Connect Data. Now just paste here your copied data from ChatGPT. Once again, you'll see these clams around it, which means your data has now been connected. Next, you'll need to connect the data. To do this, click on the specific text, then click on the three dots. After that, select Connect Data and choose the relevant data. If the data is successfully connected, you'll notice the color of the connected data changes. Repeat this process for the other two data points. Afterward, click Generate to proceed. If you'd like to adjust the timing for each section, you can edit it before clicking Generate. After a few moments, it will be generated. Preview it. You might encounter some weird glitch that it only generates 49 videos, but it won't affect the actual videos except you lose one video. Once it's finished, you'll be able to quickly export these videos by clicking Share in the top right corner and then Download. Make sure to select Download Pages as separate files. You get all these videos downloaded as separate files. Here, you can download it in 4K resolution here, though I recommend opting for 1080p for optimal quality this time. Now, simply click Download, and within a few minutes, it will be downloaded separately. Now it's time to add background music to the video. And that's pretty much how you can create these videos. Here, you can find a lot of online video editors. You can use any of them to add background music, for copyright-free music, I am currently using YouTube Studio's music library. Select any track you prefer and download it. Next, I am using CapCut to add background music. Import the separate short video and once it is imported, also add the background music downloaded from YouTube Studio. Trim the background music as needed, then export the edited video. The export process will complete shortly. So let's check the final look. In this video, I'm showing you how to create these shorts, but not how to get monetized or grow your channel quickly. If you want a tutorial on those topics, let me know in the comments, and then I'll give that a try. If you need any help, just let me know.
Thanks for watching.